Hey, so a couple people wanted me to make a video about this e-bike conversion that I just made on a specialized hard rock. It, uh, it's like, I believe it's from 1990. I got the bike off of a uh, Craigslist for $150. Anyway, I'll go through a couple of the key components. Um, and issues that I faced when making it. Maybe it'll help you out. So the first thing is I'm using the AW 1000 watt, 48 volt, 26 inch wheel. It's on the back there. Um, it doesn't quite fit this particular bike when you when you put it in the, the actual, um, not the cassette, but the, uh, this, the cog, I think you call it, where the sprockets are in the back, right, right here. Um, those little dudes, they were rubbing. So they had to install some washers in there to uh, get that cog to stop rubbing on the frame. It was kind of a nightmare to figure out. I'm not really a, a bike guy. Um, so that was like issue number one. Once you got the washer in there, it didn't rub. Um, it didn't really slide in that easily. You had to kind of force it into the frame, but once it drops in, it's, it's in there. Um, so that's the motor. It's a thousand Watts. It's, it's got a ton of power. It goes like, you know, 23 miles per hour on the flat. Um, if you pedal with it, you can get up to 30 miles an hour. At least I can. Um, so it's kind of a, a cool amount of power. Uh, the battery is 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 right here in the middle. Uh, let's see if I can point to it. It's it's this big guy. Um, it's uh, it's the same. It's a thousand watt, forty eight volts. It goes with that motor. Amazon recommends that you buy them together. So I just went ahead and did that, so that uh, you know ensured that. That it worked. The, the issue that I had, another thing that they don't really um, tell you is the motor and the battery do not connect together. So you had to solder the wires together. That was a little scary for me because um, I saw a couple other videos where they said, you know, just connect, connect the wires. And then I heard some somebody say like, oh, if it's aluminum or metal, don't do this. And I just went ahead and soldered it. I, it works fine. I, I don't know if I did it the wrong way, but it, it works fine. There's a fuse built into this motor from power to the, to the battery. So, uh, if it does blow, I guess the fuse will go out first and I can just replace the fuse. So there's that. Um, the other big, big problem that I ran into was I used to have these shifters that had those clicking kind that where you like turn them, uh, they shift the gears by twisting them and they also, they, so they had the brake levers like melded into them. Well, those are the worst kind of, of shifters to have when you're converting your e-bike because they give you new shifters. So what that means is you have to buy new shifters and put their brakes, brakes in because their brakes have a kill motor switch into them. So when you hit the brakes, the motor stops so you don't, um, the motor doesn't keep spinning. Um, cause we have a tendency to pedal and when we pedal, we don't, we sometimes brake a little bit. So we, our legs still move, but when you hold the brakes down on these bikes, on these e-conversions, kills the motor. It's a really, it's a really safe feature. Um, but with all that, uh, just be aware that if your clickers are attached to your brakes, you're going to have to get new shifters, which sucks, um, badly. So I did all that. So those are new shifters. The brake lines are from the motor. They come with the kit. Um, the other thing that I did since I was doing the shifters is I replaced the handlebars. So all the handlebars are, uh, they're upgraded, they're bigger. Um, you know, you have to do the stem with that. It's a whole thing. So this isn't like a easy conversion when it comes to respect to the shifters and handlebars if you don't have the right stuff. If you do, if your shifters and brakes are separate, it's fairly easy. Mine weren't, so it was kind of a nightmare. But it's all good now. Uh, 
the other thing that you have to do is you have to take the cranks off. I, you have to have a crank extractor for that. I'll put that, all this stuff in the description below so you guys can see what I bought. But you, you can't get the crank off without a crank extractor. That, um, there's a little tiny, uh, I'll flip the bike around here in a minute. But there's a little tiny uh, device that slips over the crank once you take the crank off. And it doesn't, it feels like it's gonna break when you, when you put it on there, but it actually just goes on. I used a crescent wrench and just sort of tapped it in lightly. Um, it is hard plastic, it was pretty scary, but it did, want, did go on and it, it worked like a charm. Like it totally has pedal assist. You pedal this thing, the motor engages. It's pretty amazing. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, there's a, I'm trying to think of anything else. Handlebars, damn. Uh, yeah, oh, that motor. The motor is, is here. I'm sorry, the brain, which talks to the motor. Um, goes down there, it runs to that. I think I ran it this way. But um, this is where the, the brain sits. Um, the bag that they give you is garbage. It's super tiny, it would never fit. So I got this one and measured it out. It fits, um, it fits the, the brain or, um, fairly well, um, a lot better than the one it came with. And then it also is waterproof, but you, you have to cut a hole in the bottom of it to run the wires out because it doesn't come with a hole. So that was kind of whack. Um, the other thing is, you know, I, I, you can see I taped it with a electrical tape just to like kind of just tidy it all up because there's there's a fuse there that wouldn't fit in the box or at least I didn't make it fit in the box probably could have but I was over shoving stuff in the bag cuz there's a lot of wires in that bag that's probably the most tedious part of the whole job is once you get it all dialed you you have wires everywhere and it takes a minute to kind of like get all the wires in this in this thing but they're in there and you can see right there there's the there, there's some wire, excess wires in the fuse is like taped right there to it. But um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll flip the bike around and show you the, uh, the uh, pedal assist. So pedal assist is is uh, right here. Where is it? Right there. Um, and yeah, once you extract that crank, you 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 put it on. You just push it on as hard as it can go up into that uh, that crank, and uh, and then you put the crank back on. It, and the thing freaking knows that you're spinning the the wheel somehow. I'm not an engineer. Um, but yeah, and then all you do here is uh, you turn the thing on. There's a little, whoops, let me just set this down here. So I click the battery on over there. I don't know if you can see, a little red button. And then uh, you power it up. And it, it moves. So there's a throttle and a pedal assist. So I'll just kind of like put the back tire up and I'll give it throttle. Hopefully it doesn't. That's it. I mean, you want to turn it off, you just, you can turn it off here or you can turn it off. Oh, I should say it has five levels of power to it. So zero is just like static. It's just you pedal power. One is like very easy pedal assist. So it'll give you the least amount of power while you're pedaling. So that, that'll give you the most range. Two goes up a little bit and so on and so forth, all the way to four and five. Four and five power I found are just crazy amount of power like you, you can't even like 
See, right now I have it in four, but you can just, you can move it up and down between these. Um, once you get to four and five, as soon as you start moving the pedals, the thing just goes really fast. So it's either one or, or five, in my opinion. Two, you can kind of feel it, but once you start going past two and three, the bike, you don't, your, your wheels, you just kind of spin your, uh, your, your legs just are moving for fun. They don't really do any work and you're on a magic carpet ride and, uh, the thing's just going, but that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments, but, uh, yeah, I'll leave description to, uh, to all the parts in the, uh, down there and you guys can check it anyway. Uh, yeah, and then I bought a little light, but okay. just for safety or night driving. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, and then the seat I did, I did too. A little, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a couple, couple little deals on the seat. And, uh, yeah, I put brakes on it just because you're moving pretty fast. They all say like, do disc brakes with this thing, but I just, uh, I just have calipers. They work fine. People are like, oh, don't, don't do calipers. Um, the other thing that I did that like they recommend is, um, whoops, sorry, is this little uh, torque arm. This little guy right here, um, it's it's this thing. Just put that on. It's like, make sure the frame doesn't bend because you have all this power going through this thing. This is the wire to the motor, but this is the torque arm. They recommend you, you everyone says to put this thing in, but um, I don't know. I, I don't think it does anything, but whatever. I don't think the frame's gonna blow, but, but, um, but, I put it in anyways, like they recommend it. So I did it and uh, there you go.